live. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel says to God, O oh Lord God, mm -hmm. thou knowest. Thou knowest. In other words, Ezekiel says to, to God, God, I know you wanted me to answer this question for you, but let's just be honest for a moment. God, I ain't got the power that you got. So, God, only you know what can do. Because God already knew that Ezekiel had power in his mouth. But Ezekiel understood that even though I got power in my mouth as the prophet, I understand that I can't prophesy until God gives me the go-ahead. Ezekiel understood that no matter how much power I think I possess, I understand that I can't do nothing without God on my side. And that's what the word is for somebody tonight. You trying to push through your situation on your own strength, and you find yourself defeated and depleted. But God told me to tell you, stop trying to fight it on your own but learn how to fight it with God on your side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel says, Oh Lord God, mm -hmm. thou knowest. Then uh, the text kind of takes a shift, a paradigm shift for a moment because what ends up happening is God and Ezekiel begin to have a conversation. Conversation that many of us were wanted to hear in the beginning of the text, but God waited until Ezekiel had seen all the dead stuff before he came and told Ezekiel. He said to Ezekiel, you answered my question mm -hmm. just right. Mm -hmm. He says, but now I'm going to tell you how the bones can live since you said, oh, oh Lord God, thou knowest. He said, I'm going to tell you like this. The only reason that the bones and the only way that the bones can live is the simple fact that you've got to open up your mouth and begin to prophesy unto the bones. Mm -hmm. Check this out. Uh, here it is. Uh, Ezekiel, he has the word of God to prophesy unto the bones and the bones will come to life. And that's why Ezekiel, he does not hesitate when God gives him the word to prophesy unto the bones. Ezekiel says, wait a minute. All I needed was to go ahead from God. And now I can go ahead and speak to those things that are not as though they Ah, here it is uh, in the text. Ezekiel makes sure that he understands uh, what he is doing in the text because Ezekiel says, I don't need to mess up. Uh, I don't need to go astray. But what I need to do is go ahead and let God know that he, all I needed was one word from you. And when I get the one word that I need, then I can move and go on and do the things that I need to do. That's a word for some of us up in here tonight. You've been going through. You've been stressed out. You've been trying to figure out how you gonna make it how you gonna go about how you gonna do the things that you need to do but God told me to take the one word that you're waiting on just hold on cuz it's on the way he just wanted to see if you were gonna leave the valley when you showed up and didn't see anything alive how is it that you can be led to somewhere by a great shepherd but then turn around and don't find any life where you are anybody ever been there God led you to a place where there was no life God led you to a place where you didn't understand how you were gonna make it God led you to a place where you didn't understand what was going on around you. God led you to a place and you had the audacity to even ask God, is this the place that you led me? <laughs> because this thing don't look right. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel understands in this text that no matter what I'm going through, mm -hmm. God just gave me word to speak to a dead situation. Mm -hmm. Now notice what the text says. Uh, Ezekiel says in verse number uh, number five, he says, Thus saith the, Lord, the Lord, God unto these bones, mm -hmm. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. Pause for a moment, y'all. I need you to turn on your spiritual imagination. Mm -hmm. Here it is, we're in a valley of dry bones. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel sees that there is no life. Mm -hmm. Only to hear God mm -hmm. say, speak, speak. prophesy mm -hmm. to the bones. Mm -hmm. Now, it amazes me, y'all, because look at your imagination. Mm -hmm. There's bones everywhere. Mm -hmm. There's no flesh, mm -hmm. but just bones. Mm -hmm. And God gives you the word to speak, speak. and the bones shall come together. Mm -hmm. Think about it. That's awesome. How can you stand in a place mm -hmm. that was deemed dead mm -hmm. and all of a sudden life Dang. shows up? Oh, Notice what Ezekiel says. The prophet is standing there in the midst of the bones. Mm -hmm. 
And instead of him getting cocky when the Lord tells him to release a word, if the Lord told Ezekiel in my mindset, in my theological insight, I believe that uh, the Bible would declare that Ezekiel did not have power and God gave him power. But the Bible does not say that. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that he, he told Ezekiel, speak prophesied to the bones, which means that there was a prophetic power that already lied within Ezekiel. It means that Ezekiel was carrying something all along that he may have not been using, but in this particular text, God says, in other words to Ezekiel, just use what I've already put in you. Here it is that Ezekiel stands, but Ezekiel does not say, in the name of Ezekiel, bones come to life, but he says, thus saith the Lord. Ezekiel understood that even though I have power in my mouth, I still don't have enough power to make the bones come to life on my own. But I got to say, thus saith the Lord. That's just like you in your situation. You ought not ever go to your situation without saying, in the name of Jesus. Because I understand that when I say, in the name of Jesus, the old church mama used to say, in that name of Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess. At that name of Jesus, demons have to flee and demons have to tremble is that that name of Jesus and Ezekiel said wait a minute, wait a minute. even though I got power, power. I ain't dumb mm -hmm. I ain't stupid mm -hmm. I beat and said bones come to life mm -hmm. and they'll just stay, they'll stay there. but when I put my seal on it oh, Jesus. they have no choice but to obey. Now, can I can I go ahead and, 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 and pick your brain for a second? How many things have you been speaking to that ain't moved? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Pastor. Because it was the fact that you didn't put your seal of approval on it. How many things have you been speaking to and they look back at you and tell you, you don't have the authority to talk to me like that. Uh, excuse me, wait a minute. Can I just be me for a second? Can I just be the pastor that I am? I'm sorry, but when God gives me a word and I speak that thing and I tell you in the name of Jesus or it does say of the Lord, if you don't want to accept it, then get the hell out of my life because guess what? There's one thing I will testify is that whatever God says, I got to move on it. Whatever God gives me, I got to respond to it. Why? Because he's the only reason why I can, why I can live. Mm -hmm. You got to. So Ezekiel said, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The Lord told me to prophesy. But I can't do this thing on my own strength. I need some backup. Mm -hmm. I'm glad tonight that Ezekiel teaches us that no matter what we go through, there is some backup. There's always somebody you can call on when times are a little hard and when times are a little rough and when the valley seems like it's overtaking you, there is somebody you can call on. There is somebody that'll show up in the midnight hour and rock you to sleep at night when you're restless. There is somebody, y'all, that'll show up when nobody else wants to be around you and nobody else can recognize the change that's taking place in your life. There is some backup brand. And yeah. when you're going through life journey and you just feel like crying all day long and all, all night long because you don't understand why God would choose you to go on Ooh. the journey that you're going on. There is some backup, y'all, that'll show up in the midst of hell and high water trials and tribulations that'll tell you, don't worry about the dead part backup. of your situation because I can call things to come back to life. You was dead a long time ago, dead sleeping in sin, but guess what? I brought some life to your life. So that means that despite what you go through, just hold on. You got some backup. Can I talk for a moment? Even the police now, with all the shooting and the killing, they've got to, when they pull somebody over, they've got to call for backup. You may not have done anything that seemed to be dangerous. You might have just ran a red light or something, something very simple. But even when they pull you, they got to call for backup because anybody's capable of doing anything nowadays. But God told me to tell you that when you find yourself being pulled over in life, just call